There are lots of how to make a teleprompter videos online, especially on YouTube, and a lot of them claim that they're super cheap. But they do get a bit overcomplicated, and you need saws and power tools and drills. No, no, no. This one, all you need is a photo frame. A tablet to actually display the text, but you need a photo frame, that's it. Some sort of knife, carving knife, Stanley knife, and some tape. That's literally all you need to make a prompter. Oh, and obviously while you're using it, you'll need, as well as a tablet, you'll need a black cloth or something to hide the background to make it a bit more clear. Without further ado, let's nerd it. Let's make a teleprompter. <laughs> Right, so we've got all those tools, let's get started. So then we also need to open this up, remove that, and put it to one side for a second. Right, this bit of piece of paper we don't need, that can get gone. The glass we do need, but we do need it out of the way. Because we don't want it to get broke and we don't certainly don't want it to get paint or all over it. So now all we've got is we've got this frame and we've got the board. We need to take off the hanger for this one. Throw that away. We'll store it, you might need it for something else at some point. Pull this off. And now that's pulled off, we also need to get it off this side. Which in always, sometimes it comes off really easy, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, maybe you just screw it, don't use a knife, that's a bit stupid. Uh, maybe use a screwdriver or something to just pry it off. I've also found it can be on that hard, the hinge rather snaps off. But either which way, use a screwdriver or something and remove it. Now that's off, we're going to need this as well, so let's put that to one side. This is it. Beautiful. First thing you need to do wrap, what we want is it like this. So when you're inside, you're looking at the black frame. The, the, the outer side of the frame, because if you have it the other way, these bits are going to get in your view. If they're behind the glass, they won't. So we want it like that. So what we do now is line it up here. It's nice and flush with the back. And mark it with your pen. Then we can cast this frame to the side for a second. Now, it's quite important that that's an even width for whatever, but it's not dire. Next thing, we need to get our straight edge and cut. Now, at this point, you're trying to cut about halfway. If you cut too deep, you're going to cut straight through, and we do need that edge. So we're trying to aim for about halfway. Doesn't matter if we don't quite get there. At this point, there should be a bit of a flex in it. Not a lot, it will feel quite rigid still. And we need an edge. Now, I'm not quite sure if this is in frame or not. But hang it over the edge, and gently press down. What you try to do is you're going to fold it. It's important not to do it in one place because like I said, what we don't want to do is snap it. If you do snap it, don't worry about it. And again, because it snapped, I'm just going to run blade down it one more time. And this bit seems to be a bit stiffer, so I'm just going to do this a bit more. And get a nice even fold. You want it to go at the same time. So now what we've got is we've got an L sheet. See it? Love it, like it, beautiful. And obviously we've got this fold on the back. A bit of a shame is broke off, but it's all right. It's not actually vital, that part, but it does help a lot in securing it. Now that's folded, we can put it to one side. And we need this section back. Now what we need here is a 45 degree angle. Now if you cut it up this section, 
that will leave this as a nice 95 degree prop like a wedge that is going to hold it and support it up if you haven't got anything like a protractor to draw a 45 degree angle what we need to do is measure 45 uh, five centimeters this way on the board that we've just bent and then again we'll measure five degrees this way uh, five centimeters this way and that's this do it again further out here and now what we've got is a square if we draw from corner to corner on the square this is our 45 degree angle it needs to be a bit longer than that so we put this on here make sure this edge is nice and flush and you also want this corner to line up with that and there you go we can now draw a line from that corner to that edge and that's a 45 degree angle this time we're going to cut all the way through so i am going to use that to stop myself quitting my worktop bang bang it'll take a few cuts just get all the way through it Keep your fingers out of the way. Now you see, that's why it's important to cut all the way through. Because if not, you won't have a straight edge. Oh, well, there you go. That, that, I'm quite happy with that. A nice 45 degree angle. See it? Beautiful. Right, if you haven't got another 45, uh, another piece, it don't matter. If you do want to make one, you can try and make a small one out of this. But I'm not going to particularly bother. Like I so said, you can just mark that, cut there. But I've got, already got one, so I'm not going to bother making another strengthener. So you've got this piece, and maybe you've got another. You've got your bottom board. And you've got your frame. What you need to do now is paint everything black. If your frame's already black on the front, it doesn't really matter. And the next thing we're going to do is assemble it. Put it all together and make a beautiful frame. So, assuming that I've painted everything black, the next thing for us to do is we need to attach this onto here. Because how this is going to work is the camera's going to go here, this tablet's going to go here, the glass is going to go here and reflect onto the glass and we're going to be stood on this side so let's attach as i said all you actually need here is some tape if you tape it from that edge all the way to this edge not what you don't want to do is tape over your pins but you can tape it from here all the way around you do want to tape this joint but if you can glue it as well pva run some pva down it it will strengthen it in the long run but again it doesn't matter if it breaks off this is why it's important that the tape comes down here. Again, to make it look better, if you've got black gaffer tape, it's gonna look a lot better. Something that you don't need to do, but I am gonna do, just because it, I think it makes life much easier. Grab my staple gun. Make sure it's nice and straight. Put a staple in, put a staple in. Another staple. Another staple. I haven't done them very right, and that's because I could feel my frame cracking as I was pressing it down. So that's not ideal, but it doesn't actually matter at this point, because uh, like I said, you don't need that bit anyway. It's just gonna hold it on nicely for me. Find the end of my tape. Right now, at this point, what we wanna do is find a rough 45 degree angle. So I'm gonna do it kind of there, and I'm gonna prop it like that so it stood on its edge get the tape and tape it 
Now the reason it's important to make sure it's a 45 degree angle is because the tape will help keep it down and in place. Now I'm not making a very good job of this one uh, compared to my last one. But there we go, we've now got that. And if you see, you can't really see it on the camera, but it is holding up. The tape's holding it up a little bit into the right place. The next thing you want to do is get your wedges. Now obviously there's going to be two wedges. The angle's going to be like that. So you want to be careful what side you put your tape on. If you put it on that side, it has to go on this side. If you put it on this side, it has to go on this side. Get your tape. Put it on there, make sure it's on nice and flush. Now what I'm going to do, it's better while it's laid down, while this is on the bottom. But at the time being, it's a lot harder for me to do and show you. So I'm just going to hold it up. What you want to do is you want to put your wedge on and slide it in all the way until it's touching the frame. I mean, the very tip point. And stick it down. You want the tip point there touching the frame. Again, at this point, if you want to fold that back and put some glue there, you can. But I'd much rather not glue it because then if it falls to pieces, you can just tape it back on and all as well. But there you go, you have now got a teleprompter. We have to put the glass back in. Pin this glass down. Make sure it's nice and secure so it doesn't pull out and don't smash glass. And there we go, we've got a stand up teleprompter. So this is what I've just made and it is actually super durable. The <laughs> it's amazing, really, especially how people are going to it by buying all different sorts of things. Obviously here we've got the photo frame, we've got the backboard and we've got the bit that helps you stand up. And that's all you need. But there's a big problem with this, if you're just going to put it down on the desk, it's perfect. You put your tablet in here, you stand at this side, you have your camera looking through the glass. And then you have a top going over. Um, that's ideal. But, you might have seen mine actually rests on a tripod. Now to achieve that, you have to draw a line from that corner, this corner over here, all the way to this one, this corner from this one. Find the centre, drill an hole. I think it's about a 6mm drill bit you need. I didn't actually use that, I used a Phillips head, Phillips screw bit, and screwed into it. It made a perfect size hole. Um, and I'll show you how my, my actual one is. There you go. My actual teleprompter. The glass is very dirty at the minute. But that's how it works. If you are putting it on a tripod, bear in mind you'll definitely need two on this side. Because if you use one, you, it's going to end up bending and arcing. As well as I put something underneath to reinforce it to keep it flat. I don't know, two pieces of wood going across the bottom, extra cardboard whatever, just something to keep it flat. But there you go guys, a bit of tape and a photo frame. Can you get your own? Let's go do a little picture show, a video show. See how teleprompter in action. 